in 2010, Kolo meets a 22-year-old student called Kessel Casayo in the in the 2 a.m. drizzle outside Bijou nightclub in Manchester. But Kessel doesn't doesn't recognize Kolo and he introduces himself to her as Francois, a Ghanaian car salesman who's recently moved to Manchester as a as a student. And he she she says at some point, like, sure, sure you, you look you look a little bit familiar. And he's like, oh. Yeah, I mean, you you probably know me from my charity work in Africa. <laughs> anyway, they get on well and they swap numbers at the end of the night and they arrange to meet up the next day. And they do and they kind of spark off this affair that goes on for the next two years. So Kolo goes round to her student flat. I'm imagining some like grotty bedsit and fallow field. Um Apparently he'd always turn up in a in a baseball cap and aviator sunglasses. <laughs> so, that, so no one recognized him. And uh he always always called her from a private number so that she didn't waste her money calling. I mean that's a red flag if your boyfriend won't give you yeah. his number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll sell you a used car, but he won't give you his number. Yeah. <laughs> Francois, you're so mysterious. <laughs> yeah. It's very part of the appeal. Yeah. He's off doing charity work. Yeah. So but she has no idea. She has no idea. So this is yeah. Uh, she says that he he used to like lavish her with with sexy lingerie and jewelry. And one time he he apparently got down on one knee and gives her a diamond ring. He insists that it wasn't an engagement ring; it was a ring. It was just to you know, it was just a declaration of his love. He's he is married at this point. I should should say. Um, <laughs> so at one point after they they've been going out for a couple of years. And then Colo just disappears for for like three months, and and Kessel's like, oh, "What's going on?" I mean, I guess it was always a bit of a weird relationship, but um, you know, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe we won't see him again. And three months later, he reappears, like drops her a text, and they meet up. And he's like, "Oh, I was just back in uh, back in Ghana selling cars." <laughs> so she's like, oh, "Okay, sure." The truth in fact, was that he was back in the Ivory Coast marrying his actual wife. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Is, yeah, naughty, naughty Colo. Another, another, what you would think might have been a red flag in their in their relationship was that Colo insisted that Kessel never took any pictures of him. So the only photo that she ever got of him was a shot that she snapped of him coming out of the out of the shower. So none of our housemates were football fans, I guess. No, so so this is what happens. So he gets caught out in the end because she shows this photo to a friend, and the friend the friend looks at it and is like. Well, that's that's Colo Toro. <laughs> um, so her like, friend's just like, yeah, that's that's, that's Colo Toro. Title winning, <laughs> yeah. invincible defender, yeah. <laughs> married man. Yeah, yeah. So then she um, she googles Colo Toro and finds these pictures of him like lifting the lifting the Premier League trophy, and also finds pictures from his wedding like three weeks before. Um, so so yeah, that was then the game's up for. Uh, for Francois, the Gardet and car salesman. Yeah. I mean, obviously you could m- make a case that this was quite a scammy move from him, but I have to say credit. Most footballers rely on their fame to uh, to meet, meet meet romantic interest, whereas he's done it as a used car salesman yeah. just outside a nightclub. Inspiration. He's got real charm is yeah. my point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Genuine. diamond rings as well. Yeah, yeah, and the diamond yeah. rings, which do help, but no, no phone number available. I mean, the fact that Colo kept this up for two years is, is pretty impressive. Two years of going out with someone who disappears randomly, private numbers you, and doesn't let you take photos of them. You must be a bit like, I don't know, there's, there's something's not right here. Yeah. Yellow flags at least, surely. Yeah. Yeah. Orange. Yeah. 